So we have chosen to sing the battle cry of freedom to celebrate the 150th anniversary of the day the Emancipation Proclamation took effect. While the proclamation was issued on September 22, 1862, following the Union victory at Antietam, it became effective on January 1, 1863, and led to the passage of the 13th Amendment on December 6, 1865. I learned this song from Keith and Rusty McNeil, who have a wonderful recording of it that's available here at the Folk Music Center. And uh, this is the Union version. The song by George F. Root, called The Battle Cry of Freedom, was so very popular that the South made up their own version of the song. But uh, it was used, this Union <laughs> version that we're singing, in the uh, election of 1864, when Lincoln ran with Johnson. And you may have heard it if you saw the movie Lincoln. Oh, yes. Recently, yes. it ends the movie. Very good movie. Okay. Exactly. Yes, we'll rally round the flag, boys, we'll rally once again, shouting the battle cry of freedom. We will rally from side will gather from the plains shouting the battle cry of freedom the union forever hurrah boys hurrah down with the trailer up with the star yes we'll rally round the flag boys we'll rally once again shouting the battle cry of freedom are stringing to the call of our brothers gone before, shouting the battle cry of freedom, and we'll fill the vacant ranks with a million free and more, shouting the battle cry of freedom, the union forever, hurrah boys, hurrah. and brave, shouting the battle cry of freedom, and although he may be poor, he shall never be a slave, shouting the battle cry of freedom, the union forever, hurrah boys, hurrah, down with the traitor, up with the star, yes, we'll rally round the flag. Boys, we'll rally once again, shouting the battle cry of freedom. So we're springing to the call from the east and from the west, shouting the battle cry of freedom. And we'll hurl a rebel crew from the land we love the best, shouting the battle cry of freedom. The union. Good job, Joe.